What's going on guys, Nico back here with another Madden video, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the Nobody Spend team, this is Nobody Spend number 13, we're going to be going over how we're preparing basically for this big week of content, we have the, we have the Super Bowl MVP, maybe today, I'm, I'm not really sure, but it is Cooper Cup, so we're going to be getting a 99 overall Cooper Cup uh, later today, we have on Tuesday, we're probably going to have Honors Limited, Wednesday's Wildcard Wednesday, Thursday we're going to have another batch of Honors Limited, plus uh regular limiteds you know like the rainbow ones and then friday we're gonna have gridiron guardians 2 and saturday is ultimate legend so we have a lot of content coming i'm gonna be making as many coins as possible during this week uh i have a bunch of stuff in my body you can see our coin count's pretty low right now but it's because they're they're all, they're all here in my binder i bought them i bought these for around like 20 i, I was trying to buy 26k and under because they were selling at the time for 33 but then i left and went to go watch super bowl last night after i bought them and they actually dropped in price to about 29000 I'm going to try to sell them for about thirty two if I can get that. Uh, if not, then I'll hold on and wait for the market to go up. Because once these uh, players come into packs, people are going to want training. Hopefully, training goes up. I'm really hoping for that. Even if we get a training variety pack, I doubt we get a, tra uh, a training variety pack during honors. Last year, we got it after honors. Like, right after the MVP honors card came out, which is going to be Aaron Rodgers. But... The market is a little bit down today. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I guess people are just buying a bunch of... I, I don't really know why, to be honest. But if we come over here to Cooper Cup, all of his cards have skyrocketed as uh, as they should. His, his cards going to be really good. You see his core leads up to 16K. This is a 19K. I think that's a... It's not a snipe. I, I thought it was a snipe. But his 84 is at 19K. His power ups at 20K. And then his 92 overall, I believe. 93 is at 300,000 coins. Plus, you're going to need the 99 overall and the training. So, this card's going to be over probably a million coins to power up in total. But the thing is, is that... So, on his 93 overall, he has 90 speed. So, on his 99 overall, if he has 96 speed, which is what I'm hoping, powered up with the strat items. You don't even need a theme team. He'll be 99 speed. I think that's what they should do with this card. Obviously, give him the route running. Give him the catching. He's 6'2", so he's not small. He's a route runner archetype. Cup's card's going to be really good. Now, was he most deserving of the Super Bowl MVP? Debatable. I think Aaron Donald should have got it easily. No question. Uh, he single-handedly won that game. I, I know Cup was absolutely phenomenal. I'm not taking anything away from Cup. Great game. Obviously, an incredible performance and great win. But Aaron Donald just was controlling that game on defense the whole time. Now, we played Weekend League. We finished Weekend League. I actually just finished it about 20 minutes ago. We went 17 and 8, and I definitely could have got legend. I was I I lost the game on a game winning uh or a game losing field goal for me. Uh, this guy kicked a field goal, and there was two seconds left on the clock. I tried icing him, be a clutch kicker, it didn't work. Ended up losing that game, and uh, we got to 17 wins. If we got one one more win, maybe we would have got the top 100. I mean, down all the way at the bottom is 18 wins, so. Maybe we could have cracked it. I don't really know what our strength of schedule would have been. I'm getting close. I'm really getting close. We we got one one more win than last week. But you can see we did get MVP rewards again. You can see we won 17 games. Legend. Legend's the next step then top 100. But we got to keep going. I got to make stop making the dumb mistakes. And the game that I lost in that field goal, I did throw a pick. Should it have been a pick? Maybe not. But uh, it is what it is. But 17 wins in weekend league. So we'll have weekend league rewards uh, tomorrow as well. But Ultimate Legends, what I'm really looking at here is they're going to bring in some new Legends, obviously. They're going to bring in Legends like like Namdi Asma, for example. I'm expecting him to get a card this year. Maybe he doesn't, but uh, but like last year is someone who they brought in. I definitely think we could see new Legends easily. We're going to see one or two, maybe, maybe even three that we haven't seen this year. New Legends to this game, obviously not in the past, but uh, Mike Haynes is a guy that Needs to be upgraded. Charles Woodson needs to be upgraded. Uh, if we come here over here to Legends and look at these guys, there's a lot of Legends that need to be upgraded that haven't been upgraded yet. Uh, we can look. Legarrette Blunt. I mean, he hasn't really needed an upgrade. Maybe 9091 isn't the best filter for these. Leroy uh, Selman could definitely be upgraded. He only has a 91 overall. Plaxico Burris. A lot of people were expecting him to get a Super Bowl card. He didn't. Uh, Ted Hendricks, possibly. They do like to target, though, the lower overall legends. I'm not going to get, like, the full legends. There should be, like, a full legend filter. Uh, but, like, the day one legends. Like, I mean, Brandon Marshall's been upgraded. 
Larry Allen's been upgraded. Uh, D. Ware's been upgraded. Who else? Bruce Matthews. So maybe that maybe there's not really Johnny U's been upgraded. Okay, so maybe there's not many, not too many legends that's still need upgrading. I should probably just go to sets and look at them. We can do Gridiron Guardians too. I don't really know how you predict that at all. I don't know how you predict that. Uh, they're gonna pick players that haven't upgraded. I saw people pick Ezekiel Elliott. Maybe he gets a card uh, to upgrade his Gridiron Forge card, but I'm not really sure. So Revis. Uh, so uh, well, I'm pretty sure all the day one legends. So Lede and Tomlinson, we could definitely see. That's a big one. I know he just got a, uh, a card for the Black History Month promo, but. That doesn't go into his power up. He still needs a legitimate upgrade. Zonka has been upgraded. Warren Sapp has. Leonard Davis has, has been upgraded. Kevin Green has. Rice has. Mike Haynes is a big one. Curtis Martin has. Roy Williams hasn't. Uh, Selman hasn't. Joe Thomas. Ted Hendricks. Vic Woodson. I mean, Vic, you're going to save probably for 99 overall. Ronnie Law has. And you can see guys like Ronnie Law just got upgraded. Uh, Andre Johnson's been upgraded already. Troy P's been upgraded. Guys like that. So. I'm definitely expecting uh, some upgrades here. So that's what we're looking at for Legends right there. Uh, right there. So we're just waiting on Cooper Cup. I definitely expect him to get released today. Now, there's no sets, though, to get the MVP. So I don't know if it's exclusive to just the people that open the bundle. And then you get to... I, I don't really know how that works. We also had Super Bowl Predictor tokens as well. So we come in here and look at those. Uh, I actually hit on a lot of them. I went in all another. So Rams win. I ha so uh, I actually can't go by newest. But all right. So Rams win. I had six of those. It looks like those are gonna hit. Stafford two hundred seventy five plus pass yards. Those are gonna hit. MVP Cooper Cup had two of those. Those are gonna hit. OBJ first touchdown. Those are gonna hit. Uh, the safety ones aren't. Uh, the Rams win by ten plus isn't either. Uh, the coin toss heads is going to hit. So we, we did a couple of coin toss heads. Those are going to hit. And then the Rams win by 10 plus points aren't going to hit either. Unfortunately, we had... Uh, looks like we had five of those. So that's a little bit uh, unfortunate there. Definitely going to happen though. So we're going to have... We go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not Matthew Stafford. 11, 12... 13, 14. So we had 15 that hit out of... I don't really know how many are here. Did you, I, I can't believe those legend tokens don't quick sell for anything. They they definitely need to add quick sells for those. But we did hit on 15 of them. Uh, does, it, does it tell you the amount that they quick sell for? So Cooper Cup, we're actually going to get 38,000 coins for those two. For Cup winning MVP. OBJ, we're going to get 60k for the two of those. Because these quick sell for 30k each. So definitely happy about those. Uh, the Rams win. We had six of them, right? So we're going to get about... Uh, about 24,000 ish coins, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, looked at Rams, but I think the coin toss heads, we're going to get about 30,000 for those. So we're going to make over a hundred thousand coins, which is, I'm, I'll definitely take it from those, uh, collectibles there. Coin toss heads is 5,000 coins. So we're going to make about uh 30,000 maybe maybe maybe, maybe 24,000 on the dot for those two and then Stafford 275 plus passing yards is 7,000 coin quick sell so it might be even over 150k I have to look I didn't get these two predictors I've actually just got those this morning so nothing there and then we'll take a look at the team and we can see how they did so the uh the defense played really well this weekend I actually really liked how they played if I didn't make some mistakes, the so we didn't use Lamar Jackson all weekend. Hot Rod Master, Pass the Elite, Fearless, and Long Range Dead Eye. The thing with Lamar Jackson, you'll see here, hopefully it shows it, is so 28 games. So he has, does it show it? Does it, does it not show? He has eight fumbled this, uh, eight, eight fumbles this weekend. That hurt me a lot. That lost me some games. It almost lost me a lot. My, uh, my last game I played, I was playing a, he was really bad. He, I, I was totally gonna be him the whole time it was just the matter if i could you know stop the run game and uh capitalize on offense he wasn't bad on defense he was really bad on offense so but eight rushing fumbles that is a lot he got sacked i was trying to get the ball away he just fumbled it instead of uh you know getting those animations where he kind of uh throws it and it goes to the ground uh he had 42 touchdowns to 21 picks 4700 passing yards 
Uh, he had a 77 yard. Uh, it was his longest pass touchdown or passing completion. Rushing 27 attempts, 210 yards, three touchdowns. Again, the eight fumbles was big time. Uh, rushing 20 yard uh, runs. Uh, he had three of those. And Lamar Jackson was not bad at all this weekend. He was pretty good. Now, we'll come up here. We'll come up to the top now. Ronnie Lott. I really like how Ronnie Lott played. He didn't force a fumble, I don't think, though. So, maybe, maybe the hit bar doesn't come into play. 53 games, that does not seem right. He had 40 tackles, three tackles for loss, one sack, four interceptions. Uh, he had four pass deflections, one fumble recovery. He really... He had a lot of tackles. I'll, I'll say that. A lot of tackles of running backs getting into the uh, secondary with him. Donald... This card is incredible. I knew he would be incredible. I didn't think he would be this incredible, though. You see there, 27 games. 16 tackles. He had nine sacks. A lot of those sacks came in the like the first bunch of games. Uh, he had a couple down in the last couple games. He had a, he did have a pick six. Uh, Aaron Donald did have a pick six. I think I clipped it. Maybe we can find it. But Aaron Donald did have a pick six. Was it? That was eight days ago. Was it this one? I'm not sure if it was this one. But Aaron Donald did have a pick six. So I, I want to see. Or I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a pick. I, I I don't know if it was six. It, it might have been six. I think this might have been it. But oh, you'll see me come here. I think this was it. So we're going to see uh, this guy, Derek Henry, a quarterback. Was this Aaron Donald? It was Aaron Donald. Yeah, yeah, right here. All right. So Aaron Donald... Catches the, the deflection there and runs out of bounds. So Aaron Donald picked that ball off right there. Really, really, really good. He also forced one fumble as well. It definitely could have been a pick six with Aaron Donald. I kind of went towards the out of bounds since I thought he was going to get tackled. If I uh, kept my uh, left stick to the right or the, uh, the um, left, maybe he could have uh, tip, uh, tiptoed into the end zone there. And Reed. He is short, but I really like how Ed Reed plays. 53 is not right either. 37 tackles. Actually, actually, 53 might be right. 37 tackles. He had 10 picks. Six pass deflections. Uh, he had two pick sixes. Ed Reed plays really, really, really well. I really like how Ed Reed plays. Obviously, he's a Raven too. I know of a Jets team too, but I am a Ravens fan. Uh, I really like uh, using the Ravens when I can. Now, our Super Bowl rentals. So, we have three of them. We didn't pick up Youngblood. I don't need Youngblood. My pass rush is good as it is. Uh, Munoz, I want to say he played pretty well. I didn't really get sacked too much off the left side. 21 games there. Uh, blocking, he had he allowed uh, three sacks in 21 games. So he allowed a sack every seventh game. Not bad at all. I'll definitely take that from my tackle. And obviously with Lamar Jackson, I'm trying to scramble around too. That could come into play. Marcus Allen, I really like the Marcus Allen card. He played really well. Uh, a lot of the wheel routes he catches really nicely 77 games is not right but he had he has 150 rush attempts 26 rushing touchdowns nine uh broken tackles he doesn't break many tackles but he does catch a lot of passes right here you can see 76 receptions 1000 receiving yards uh does he have a touchdown he, has, he doesn't have any touchdowns i don't know if that's it, no it definitely isn't right because I, I remember he calling on a, on a on a wheel route my second to last game so that's not right. So these stats, I, I don't really know how real they are, but 1,000 receiving yards is really, really, really good. So Mark Allen, he does he does his job on the wheel routes, plays really well right there. And we'll go we'll go through a couple more players. Jordan Willis, this card's really good. I definitely, uh, he's not the my best pass rusher. He's probably my third best pass rusher behind Donald and D-Ware, but he still gets, uh, gets in the backfield, makes plays. He had 16 uh, solo tackles, eight sacks, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery. Uh, he played pretty well there. So Jordan Willis really liked that card uh, a lot. So that was Jordan Willis there. We have Percy Harvin as well, who was my leading receiver by far. <clears throat> Him and Robbie Anderson played really well. And uh, he had 53 catches, 2,000 receiving yards. The touchdowns aren't counting. I don't know why. Uh and he had uh, 333 yards after the catch as well. It says he had a rush. I, I don't remember him having a rush, but Harvin played really well. D. Ware, uh, he played well as uh, a lot as or he 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 played good as well. He had 25. He had, he had 22 tackles, 12 picks, three interceptions. Sometimes on that three rack hook in in uh, Mike Blitz three, like the cover three uh, shell. 
he he drops down to coverage in that uh three rack hook and he you know guards the running back texas routes uh wheel routes pretty well so he had a couple of picks there did he have a touchdown he did have a touchdown he did have a pick six he had a fumble recovery for a touchdown as well so d Ware plays really well obviously he's extremely fast and he's at 94 speed so really well right there and we'll look at one more guy we'll look at robbie anderson robbie anderson plays really really well uh he's 97 speed i believe 53 games is not right but he had 39 catches 882 yards uh pretty good right there for robbie anderson so that's how the team played i really enjoyed how they played uh we're gonna make some upgrades obviously during this week this should be a pretty calm week for the jets team team if there's any rentals we'll definitely pick them up uh we come over here i do need to pick up nick folk and jabal adams as i think that's the last two guys i need offense is definitely set i mean tight end i guess kyle pitts but he still plays really well and then defensively uh we need to pick up i mean the secondary is good pass rush is good just for overall uh purposes we need to pick up uh jonathan vilma back here jamal adams needs his final upgrade and we need nick folk right here definitely need him for next week and we'll definitely pick him up but jonathan vilma would definitely just be for overall don't he doesn't play at all mostly we gotta wait till he gets redux and we should be good now honors i don't think anyone that played for the jets what honors rogers didn't play for the jets cooper cup's not gonna get an honors card now uh jamal uh not jamal uh jamar chase obviously didn't michael parsons obviously didn't tj watt didn't uh whitworth didn't and uh was that it yeah I, I don't really know what they're gonna do with the honors they have the mvp so rogers is gonna get a card watt's gonna get a card but joe burrow comeback player of the year has a 97 overall powered up or 96 powered up to a 97 michael parsons is a 96 powered up to a 97 jamar chase uh did he just get a card no jamar chase is good for offensive rookie of the year he has that blitz card so he'll get upgraded as well so so they have three guys that need an upgrade whitworth walter Payton, man of the year 96 uh overall powered up to a 97 and cooper Cup just won mvp and he was offensive uh player of the year and fantasy player of the year so i don't know really where they're gonna go with this at all it'll seem interesting we might just get three ltds for otters i don't really know what they're gonna do we'll have to see but if you guys enjoyed this nobody spent video make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button this was basically just an update video and our plan for going into ultimate legends and all the content this week so make sure to leave a like stay tuned to the channel we'll have a video out later today going over cooper cup stats it might not be till later tonight i will not be home uh probably when he comes out so we'll have to see how that works out uh there but expect to see one more video later tonight stay tuned make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button it definitely helps me out and you know builds the channel up and i'll see you in the next one see ya